Hello all my truth seekers. In this truth seeker requested video, I will discuss the reality and history of reptilians. Please note that I've done a video about this subject already. I will leave the link below or you can click it at the end of this video. You see the history of reptilian hybrids goes back many centuries. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning in this video I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. As most of you know, the theory of reptilians is a thing. But upon me making this many years ago, I have so many questions in the root of this theory. They say that reptilian is out of space beings. If you believe in that theory and are flat earther, you think access to the earth for most of these unusual identities makes sense. I mean, how will they be able to access our planet so easily if it's moving many miles per hour around the darn sun, among other unusual things that defies gravity and other natural things. Other believers believe the slight opposite meaning you believe in other galaxies anyway let's move on i hope this video doesn't discourage you because i'm going deep and i will explain this for flat earthers and globe earthers first we'll explain all the examples of what reptilian may be first demons the first well-known reptilian will be a person demonically possessed most demons demons not allegedly rejected angels they keep their forms they're immortal they're still angels and the validity of that story is still questionable i'm just saying possessed people caught on tape pt.2 aliens i did a video about this as well i will leave the link below anyway it seems that the face of aliens is being embellished or lied about this revelation comes from witness testimonies that confirms that these aliens are tall dark and have elongated heads they're not violent they're known to do some examinations as if to check on or modify people's dna or whatever unknown reasons some people say they are putting chips in people's brains I'm not sure about that but here's the kicker these unusual beings have been visiting for many years but here are the descriptions of some okay i know most of us are to believe that these aliens are big head bubble-eyed gray-haired creatures heck they went far as to stage crashing scenes with fake dummies and actors to reveal what they allegedly saw but what we need to do is take a closer look at what they really saw as for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. 
and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of light lightning. Why do you think the slaves said, swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home? You ain't talking about a slave ship. Slave ships float. But if you're asking something to swing low, it has to be flying high. So 3,000 years ago, located 700 miles south of Cairo and the Giza Plateau, at a place called Abydos, there's written on the ceiling beams of the New Kingdom Temple. Yeah, anyway. Carved in stone. There is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off. Not dark, black. Black skin. Really black. Yeah. Were they tall? Yes. Very tall. Yeah. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got out the uh, the doorway. I don't know how high that is, but. Well, what, uh, safe, safe. Seven, seven feet would be probably a conservative estimate. Um, have you heard about Clark McClellan's uh, statement about that? No. Oh, you haven't? No. Close encounter of the fifth kind is when uh, you reach out and try to communicate with extraterrestrials. The government doesn't want you to do this. There's actually an FBI file on me because I'm contacting extraterrestrials and talking to them, a race of beings hundreds of millions of years ahead of us. It can go from a light body to a 3D body. It was the Africans and certain tribes that used to go around teaching various parts of the world hygiene and the use of incense. Sounds familiar, don't it? Arabs and um, Persians are now known as that, but they weren't that before. Yes, that trade, race, and so on was taken over by the people who are claiming it now as their own. Anyway, getting back to the point of the idea of ancient aliens building the pyramids began and why some academics think racism lies at the heart of many extraterrestrial theories. Despite the fact that you can find many scriptures in the Bible about it, for example, it says in Exodus twenty-two twenty-one, 21, do not mistreat an alien or oppress him for you were aliens in Egypt. Then in Exodus 23, 9, you should not oppress an alien for you know the heart of an alien seeing you were aliens in the land of Egypt. Then it's in Leviticus 19, 34. When an alien lives with you in your land, do not mistreat him. The stranger who lives as a foreigner with you shall be to you as the native born among you and you shall love him as yourself. For you live as foreigners in the land of Egypt. I am Yehu, your God. And then in Leviticus 25, 23, the land should not be sold in perpetuity for the land is mine. For you are strangers and live as foreigners with me. So that means that these entities were different, but they were that much different. They weren't that much different than like everyone else there. They were just descendants of gods and goddesses walking on earth among the living as the people were once before. Hence, when he said like you were aliens of the land, his land. This can Guess what, my truth seekers? Did you know that you can get exclusive commercial free videos on my Patreon? I post my viral and block YouTube videos on there and more and stories that I wrote. You know, I write stories, people. Oh yes, I post them on there. I'm gonna start doing my video diary on there pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I need to communicate with my truth seekers. They are lifesavers. I love you all. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to be advertising my Patreon. The link is below. Third most common theories. Reptilians are supposed to be alien species that came to earth during the time of the ancient Sumerians of what we know of them is documented through Sumerian writings. We know that during the Sumerian reign, the Anunana, which translates to gods, came from the sky and settled on the earth. These gods were referred to as an Anunnaki, gods living on earth. Many people associate the reptilians with the strange arrival of the Anunna or Anunana because of the sudden emergence of reptile worship 
after the Anunnaki were settled. Despite updated theories that say that this assumption of their appearance was based on racism and to keep African slash Negroes in the dark about their original origins. But we have put that on the back burner for now. However, several arguments claim that the Sumerian's writings are not enough evidence to link the reptilians to these strange Anunnaki. However, the many reptilian theories that have come to light due to the Sumerian writings cannot be denied either. Common Reptilian Theories There are two theories as to where the reptilians came from. Some believe that the reptilians evolved on Earth millions of years ago until they were able to venture into space. Their reappearance during the age of the Sumerians was simply a decision to return to Earth, not to take over a new world. Others believe the reptilians came to us from the Draco constellations, or Draco. If you believe in space, they traveled throughout the galaxy before discovering Earth. They then assimilated into Earth's government and helped to propel the ancient world into an age of enlightenment. Others believe they have always been here, hence the Bible, and just travel far across unknown parts of the earth that the government likes to keep secret. Some of these reptilians breed with humans and created crossbred offspring that are supposedly responsible for features such as the ancient pyramids in Egypt. You see the racism behind this now, despite the literal carvings on the walls throughout the world of how the pyramids was assimilated, but most believe aliens built it, not Africans. Do you see where I'm going with this? Hey, my truth seekers, did you know that I have a blog? A blog that I post personally selected stories onto. I also have an online journal where I give you a peek at my personal life and more. So please go to the truth show channel dot blog. All the links are below. There is would tell us that the reptilians are a humanoid species that appear to be human from the feet to the neck but have a face that resembles a reptile. They tend to be much taller than the average human at least during that time and have knowledge that is thought to have helped shape the ancient world. Not just you know black Africans and Negroes just being smart Never mind. Some theories claim that they were responsible for helping to create the significant religions that came out of the Middle East, such as Judaism, Christianity, Islam. All of this is alleged. None of this has been proven, by the way. Just saying. However, some theorists believe that when they visit, they wore protective wear or helmets to disguise themselves. And the reptilian was only a costume. Justin Bieber fans say they witnessed the singer shapeshift into a reptilian while greeting them at Perth Airport. One witness said that all hell broke loose in the airport after Justin Bieber shapeshifted in front of his fans. She claims there were girls hiding in the toilets crying and guys were running for the exits, jumping in taxis to get the hell out of there. Perth Now briefly published an article about the incident featuring multiple interviews with witnesses. However, within an hour of publication, the article was mysteriously taken offline and scrubbed from the internet, but not before alert readers captured screenshots of the article and proof that it appeared on Google. The Perth Now article quoted witnesses who say they saw Bieber with eyes with a black stripe down the middle and big scaly claws that were lashing out angrily. Despite the removal of the article from the internet, the reptilian sightings continued the next morning. A local skater told reporters that Bieber was hanging around with this big guy, his bodyguard I guess, and we were just staring because he kept turning into a huge reptile. His bodyguard was pointing at us, shouting that he'd kick our teeth in if we didn't put our phones away. There were multiple accounts of seeing Bieber with greenish brown claws, while others claimed to have seen the singer in full female reptilian form. One fan described the reptilian version of Bieber as really big, like way over six foot, slitty little reptilian eyes, curves, and covered in scales. Experts claim that Bieber belongs to the Babylonian Brotherhood, a group of shape-shifting reptilian humanoids determined to control the world and usher in the New World Order.
Watch Justin Bieber's eyes. Reptilian. Watch. Ooh. That is reptilian eyes. Justin fucking Bieber. But many believe reptilians may have set out to enslave the human race. According to some theorists, the Anunnaki accomplished this by genetically modifying the DNA of the primates to make them more suitable servants. Others argue that the reptilians changed a short segment of human DNA to make our forefathers more submissive. Uh, some variations of the story claim that humans can play only a tiny part of their brain capacity because of how the reptilians alter our brain structure. Many who believe this theory point to the reptile genes in our brains, which are responsible for a large portion of our brain activity. However, science tells us that the brain's total capacity stopped being used, especially with certain races, shortly after slavery by injecting them with vaccines, shipping drugs and guns to their communities and depriving them of the truth of their origins and anything they practice in terms of spiritual beliefs. These reptilians have nothing to do with this. The actions of humans when it came to slavery are from the choices of certain races, not because of some out of space being or the devil or because of the theory of subhumans. With that said, the government had other ways of brainwashing or controlling certain people. MK Ultra, an illegal human experimentation program designed and undertaken by the U.S. Central intelligence agency aka the cia intended to develop procedures and identify drugs that could be used in interrogations to weaken individuals and force confessions through brainwashing and psychological yes it began in 1953 and was halted in 1973 mcare ultra used numerous methods to manipulate its subjects mental states and brain functions such as the convert administration of high doses of psychoactive drugs and other chemical electric shocks, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, which means cutting out one sight and hearing, and there's isolation, verbal and sexual abuse, in addition to other forms of torture. I read this via Wikipedia, you can read the rest if you want. It's been reported that these techniques are still being used on celebrities, government officials, and soldiers. Hey, don't miss out. Click the subscribe and like button. Also, don't forget the bell button and then select all so that you can get notifications for every video I upload on the Truth Show channel and the Truth Show channel deluxe. Never miss out, y'all. Lobotomy. This is a neurosurgical treatment for psychiatric disorders or neurological disorders such as epilepsy that involves severing connections in the brain's prefrontal cortex. The surgery causes most links to and from the prefrontal cortex. The anterior part of the brain's frontal lobes to be severed. In the in the past, this treatment was used for treating psychiatric disorders as a mainstream procedure in some countries. The process was controversial from its initial use, partly due to the lack of recognition of severity and chronicity of severed and enduring psychiatric illnesses. So it was claimed to be an inappropriate treatment. You see, frontal lobe surgery, including lobotomy, is the second most common surgery for epilepsy today. This is usually done on one side of the brain, unlike lobotomies for a psychiatric disorder, which are done on both sides of the brain. This treatment also makes a person well-behaved and easy to control. There have been some cases of them performing this procedure while a person is sleeping. It often leaves a bruise around their eyes. Some victims were often left emotionally blunted and restricted in their intellectual range, which means their condition of reduced emotional reactivity in an individual, it manifests as a failure to express true feelings, you know, affect display, either verbally or non-verbally, especially when discussing issues that are usually expected to engage emotions. They just blurt it out and don't even care. Expressive gestures are rare. And there is little animation and facial expressions or vocal inflictions. The reduced effect can be symptomatic of autism, schizophrenia, depression, post-traumatic stress disorders, 
depersonalization disorder, schizoid personality disorder, or brain damage. It may also be a side effect of certain medications, you know, antipsychotics and antidepressants. The reduced effect should be distinguished from apathy and anhedonia, which explicitly refer to the lack of emotion. In contrast, reduced effect is a lack of emotional expression. Effect display, regardless of whether feeling underlying effect, is reduced. This is often combined with MK Ultra. The person can act and talk however you want. Again, these procedures are done by humans, not reptilians. I believe reptilians are demons in human form that inhabits human bodies. At some point, the person they inhabit is no longer alive or completely demonically possessed. This can also be a reference to cloning. I did a video about that as well. I will leave the links below if I remember all the links I claim I was going to put below. We were told that reptilians are real that it is a hybrid and genetic species that have been around for centuries. I mean, you saw the drawings of them on ancient walls with beings that are half human and half reptile. The Garden of Eden, whereas the story of Adam and Eve, it states that Eve was approached by a snake, but could that have been half human and half snake? Now, the question is, where did it come from and what are they? Now, I've said this many times that they're merely demons. So if you see a shapeshifter, that person is more than likely a demon possessed person now. I mean, why do you think the devil pupils and illustrations of evil entities are all vertical? That's why. Now the next question is where did they come from? But before we go there, let's talk about where it came from. To be continued, well that's it. Let me know what you all think below on that note. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And hit that bell so you get notifications for when I do post more videos. Speak to you all later.